Hi, I'm Mega Daga. I'm the Senior Technical Marketing Manager for our vision products at Cadence. Here today, we are going to talk about the hot topic convolution neural network, CNNs. So what is CNN and why is it important to us? CNNs were, uh, they are a kind of a deep neural network which were designed from the biologically driven models. So what researchers found was how a mammal, how a human perceives an image into the brain is in different layers. And that's how this convolution neural network was designed. And hence, it has been proven very efficient for all the image processing pattern recognition kind of applications. And here is a simple diagram of how a convolution neural network will look like. So as we can see, there are different layers which I'm showing here and images going through. So let's say I have an input image. This input image goes through a bunch of layers. There are different layers which we will talk about in detail later on. But to start with, these are a bunch of convolution layers. What happens is it will take a patch from the input. It will take that patch to that convolution layer and apply a set of filters. The convolution, fil uh, convolution layer are set of filters which are applied to a given input image, the same input image processing through number of filters. That processed filter, that activated data, goes into another layer which is called pooling layer. Pooling layer is a kind of a non-linear downsampling layer, which is basically shown over here. The image has been shortened to half the size. And so this same patch will go down in the pooling layer. And there are different aspects of pooling layer, different functions, different non-linearity, non which is introduced in pooling layer, which we'll again we'll talk about more in detail of the pooling. And then similar process keeps going on about a continuation of co convolution pooling, convolution pooling, which is shown over here. So another layer of convolution, another layer of pooling. And that's where it keeps going. So this will again go through a bunch of activation filters in the convolution layer, get some more information from that image, and then again downsample it further. And once it's downsampled, at the end of the network, generally there are layers called fully connected layers. As the term implies, fully connected layers are the layers where each and every node is connected to the um, next node in the coefficients. So it's a heavy data-driven load, where there are a lot of coefficients which are loaded so to support each and every node in the pooling data. And that's what is shown over here, that we will have multiple sets of output from our pooling layer. And what it's going to do is it's going to collectively uh, draw the th uh, top three, top five best cases for the object into consideration. So like for in this case, we were looking at this object. So at the end of the pooling layer, uh, at the end of the fully connected layer, it will follow something like a layer of softmax or an SVM for probability distribution and come up with top three probabilities. So far in this case, it will come up with, let's say, leaf and say, OK, 0.97%, um, 97%, it's a leaf. It can say it's a grass. And let's say it gave it a probability of 0 0.02. Or it said, OK, it's a bush. And it gave a probability of 1% that, OK, it's 1%, it's a bush. So it gave you the top three probabilities, and we basically picked the, uh, picked the top probability. It should be obviously in the higher ranges. And we say with confidence that, OK, this is a leaf which we picked. So this is a typical network uh, of CNN and how an image is visualized through CNN and an object is detected. So as we can see, the basic purpose of CNN is to say what the object is, where the object is, and in some cases, what's the value corresponding to that? Now, after this brief introduction, I will just talk a little bit about the applications. Applications are everywhere. CNN, as I said, it's image processing, pattern recognition. So it's wherever there is a camera, we can see an application of CNN. So what I'm saying is, Anything you carry these days from a mobile phone to a wearable device, we will be putting CNN over there. And CNN is there. 
So we will take an application by application. So let's talk about mobile applications. In mobile phones, there is very common application of gesture control. And that is something where we are using CNN, where CNN is targeting each and every gesture. And it has a set of filtered coefficients for each and every gesture. And it can say, OK, what I'm saying, I'm sliding my window, I'm sliding my tab, or I'm deleting it. And it will control that through mobile phone. And there are several others. Uh, next could be something like surveillance. Surveillance is a, another uh, place where we want to do object recognition and classification of that object. So it can be anything from object detection to, let's say, people detection. So let's consider a surveillance camera at a subway terminal. And we are trying to see who is going in, who is coming out, are the same people going in, same people coming out, which terminal did they got into and which terminal they got out. So all that kind of surveillance data uses CNN to classify those people to keep that data into network and then compare it to a set of data set which it has over the cloud in its database. And that's what's used in surveillance. Then another very hot area these days is automotive. As we all know, we all are going towards the autonomous driving. Autonomous driving, it's not doable without CNN. CNN is where it will get us do a segmentation of the entire image which your automotive is seeing. So my automotive is looking in the front. It will see, OK, there is the road. Here is the sidewalk. Here is the pedestrian. Is somebody crossing? And based on that, it is going to decide where to which path to take and where to drive. And that will be the autonomous driving. And even if not in the autonomous driving, even in current driving cases where it's partial, level three or so, it's still able to do the pedestrian detections, object detection, uh, traffic sign recognition, and stuff like that where we are using CNN. Another common place to use is AR, VR. Let's say our uh, Google Glasses and stuff like that. We are using uh, these CNN-based applications to measure the dimension of a room, to create the objects in the room, to move those objects in the room. And for that, we are using a bunch of applications using CNN, like object recognition, which we already talked about, or something like depth creation, which is an application done through stereo, which uses dual camera, which is used in mobile phones also. So we can see that the applications are everywhere in today's world, from recognizing the image, doing something with the image, and playing around with the image. So with that, what I want to say is convolution neural network, it's hot, and it's hot for a reason, because of its application all over the area and everywhere where we are going. So with that, I would like to wrap up today's session on just an introduction to CNN. We will carry on this session with more details on the architecture stuff and everything. So thank you for joining in, and I uh, hope to see you next week.